Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And today's video, we're not gonna catch a single fish. In fact, today's video, the purpose of it is I'm hoping that if you guys like what I have to say and the ideas that I'm putting forth, please share this video with everyone you know. And let's start a thread in the official angler discord and i'm going to show you how to do that actually i'll start the thread and then i will show you guys how to vote on it to turn it up because instead of making several different posts about the same thing the best thing to do is to take the one post and upvote it and so it gets the attention of the devs and maybe this thing gets some traction and we see this come to fruition because I'm going to take a moment to brag on expansive worlds. They listen to us. And a lot of the things that we want to see in the game, if it's possible and they feel that it's a priority, something that they can do, they listen to the fans and they do their best to keep this game very enjoyable. And those of you all, that know me know that I streamed the Hunter Call of the Wild for three and a half years. And I'm not throwing any shade on that game at all. I still love it. But I'm just at a point to where I've accomplished everything that I want to accomplish on that game. So the angler has stolen me. And there's still things I want to accomplish on the angler. Uh, like, for example, South Africa is out and I want to get Bingo, you know, also known as Catching All the Diamonds in the game and I have all the diamonds on the other three maps. So we're getting there. I think I've got five or six on South Africa, but the point of this video is to propose some ideas that hopefully you guys love so much that we put word of mouth out there. Everyone watches this video and is like, man, that would be awesome. Because what I want to see is the replay value of this game absolutely shoot through the roof. And I'm talking like I get home from work and cannot wait to turn the computer on or the console or whatever you play and go out there and get this done. And what I'm talking about is rewards for doing certain things in the game. We have to have things to be striving for, okay? Now, before we get very much deeper into this, please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell. And we're going to walk over to the local souvenir shop and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And some of these ideas that I have come up with come from me playing other games that I love. Destiny 2, uh, Call of Duty, you know, I've taken a little bit of these ideas from those games, you know, but as a player, let's just see, say that you've reached a point where you've caught all the diamonds in the game, you know, and I'm fastly approaching that. What are we going to need to keep us playing? You know, to keep us just striving, you know, to, to keep playing. All right. So here's my ideas. In game tournaments. Now I didn't develop this game. I didn't code it. I don't even know if it's possible with the build that they have and everything that's going on with the coding. I don't even know if it's possible to add an end game tournament. I'm just speculating here. I don't know if it is, that's what we need. And we can tie my, my overall idea into the end game tournaments. Now, if it's not possible to add end game tournaments, you can still tie my idea in without even adding a new, uh, multiplayer, playlist or, or anything for the tournaments we can just play the game like we always do and just go fishing and still implement my main idea here so let's hop into it here and show you what i'm talking about what can make me want to keep playing this game over and over and over again all right we have and i'm going to turn the game sound off right now <laughs> all right we have uh, local souvenirs on each map now these are specific to each map now starting out here on golden ridge for example and i'm going to take my face cam off 
and you see these things here. Imagine that we have a full outfit and I'm just gonna throw this out there. Gold plated mossy oak camo outfit. And we're talking hat, shirt, pants, um, boots, boat skins, Jeep skins, even special poles. It can be existing poles that are already in the game but they're skinned with that design on it. So we're talking full garb and the most uh, desired ones would probably be the special pole and the gloves because that's what you see mostly. It's, you know, that's what we get to see mostly from that view while we're fishing is our gloves, the reel, and the pole. So those three things would be high on the list of I got to have those things, okay? Now, let's say that you can see all these things in the souvenir shop. Right, the full outfit, the full garb, everything that you can win and get rewarded with in the game. It's there, but it's locked. If I got anything locked in here, or it's grayed out a little bit like that right there, I, I don't know. Uh, or it has a lock button. Seems like there's a little lock button or something when you don't have everything unlocked. I can't remember, but you can see it, but it's locked and you can't purchase it because you have to earn it. Now, this is where the replay value comes in. Let's say right here is the gloves, right? Mossy oak, gold plated, and I'm just using that as an example. It could be whatever design. That would be up to the design team, but I'm just, that's my example. And we can do this by seasons. You could have seasons running from January one to March 31st is that season. And you have that amount of time to unlock the whole outfit and everything that has to do with that. The Jeep skin, the, the, the boat skin, the Jeep skin, all that stuff. You have the whole season to unlock that stuff. Okay. Now this is where the replay value just really, really comes in. Let's say right here's the gloves and you mouse over it and it says, and it says win the large mouth bass tournament to unlock. Now that's if tournaments are an option. If tournaments are on the table, you know, and then over here is boots. Win the catfish, the channel catfish tournament to unlock, okay? That's if tournaments are a possibility, okay? And all this, I have a backup plan if tournaments are not a possibility for, for whatever reason. Now, each article of clothing, each skin, each special rod, reel, pole, everything, okay? Every one of them is tied to a fish, whether it be a tournament or whatever. Now, and this is per map, okay? Per map. Maybe uh, season one's gear here um, is on Golden Ridge, and then you go to Troll Sport. Season one, maybe it, maybe it's the same on all maps. Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe it, maybe it's the same gear on all maps. But let's say the gloves. I just really hate the fish that the gloves are tied to over here on Golden Ridge. But the gloves on Spain, I really like that fish. So I'm going to go unlock the gloves on Spain because I like that fish better than I do the gloves on Golden Ridge. So it, it can be the actual, it can be the same outfit across all maps if you're picking up what I'm laying down there. Now, let's say that the tournament is not a possibility for whatever reason with coding or whatever, right? Can't put an end game tournament in the game for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm not a developer. I don't know what those reasons may be, the engine, coding, whatever. I don't know. So if the tournament's not a possibility, then we could do this. You still tie each article of clothing, skin, whatever you want to call this. You still tie them to a fish. So I mouse over the gloves. And it says, must catch a 10 pound largemouth bass on Golden Ridge. Or better. So each article of clothing that you mouse over is tied to a fish still but instead of it being a tournament it's you have to catch a certain size diamond of that fish so everybody likes that 10 10 pound largemouth right maybe you have to catch a 25 pound catfish i don't know you take something you find out what the record is 
and you got to get within a pound of the record or two pounds of the record or you know depending on the fish a pound's a lot if we're talking about small fish but you know you, you get what i'm saying you have to catch a really big diamond of that fish to unlock that piece of gear that gives you something to grind for because a lot of people in this game once they get that diamond they move on to another fish and target another fish now some people want to keep going after personal best and all that but this is a way to keep people grinding and keep people wanting to because here's the thing i look across in multiplayer and i see i'm just gonna throw r lewis's name out there because he's an absolute beast I see R. Lewis standing over there on the bank fishing and he's got the whole outfit on because he'll probably be the first one to unlock the whole outfit. Shout out to, to, to R. Lewis. Pro XCK is another one that's a beast on this game. Uh, but you look across over there and you're like, oh man, I got to get that outfit. He's, he's, he's got all the big fish. He's got the whole outfit. You know, that's something that you would be striving to do is to unlock every single piece of that outfit. Okay, this is giving me chills even thinking about it. Like, I'm just saying, expansive worlds, listen to me on this. Just listen to me. This is stuff like other games will give you like a big awesome gun that just absolutely slays everybody else if we're talking about shooters. And I always felt that was a big no-no. You don't want to give something that's so awesome it gives an advantage in the game over everybody else this is just cosmetics this is just bling like i said you look over and see your friend who's wearing the whole outfit and you're like man he's got like near records on every fish he's wearing that outfit you know or as i'm streaming i've got those gloves unlocked and everybody can see me you know as i'm streaming they're like oh darth caught the whatever to unlock those gloves you know it's just a little bling Something to reward us for our achievements in the game. You know, something to show off. And it doesn't give you any advantage in the game whatsoever. It's just a little reward that says, here you go for all your hard work. You know, I just think that would be absolutely amazing for this game and the replay value of this game. Now, one other thing that I would mention in addition to all this is every 10 levels after you get past 100 uh, there's really nothing for those players why not add a few boat skins a few jeep skins maybe even special poles you know they're the same pole just skinned differently and every 10 levels you get a little something that's also something to give you an incentive to keep playing the game because you're unlocking stuff you know, it's nothing that's going to break the game, but it's little rewards. Because what I'm afraid is going to happen is once everybody gets bingo across all maps, a lot of people, now some people will keep playing, I'll keep playing, but there's a lot of people that will be like, well, I've got all the diamonds, I'm going to go play something else. You know, but if we put these types of things in the game, the replay value absolutely goes through the roof. So, anyway, that's my ideas. And you can either do this with an end game tournament. And I've also had people say, you know, I don't like tournaments. Tournaments ruin the game and all that. It's its own separate playlist, guys, is what I'm saying here. If you don't like tournaments, then don't click on it. You know, uh, keep playing the game like you've always played it. And those that want to play the tournament can click on that playlist. And when 12 people fill up in that lobby, the tournament starts. You've got 30 minutes to catch the biggest largemouth channel cat whatever you know if that's a possibility if not then you could just put the articles of clothing or whatever rewards in here and put a certain requirement of poundage or kilograms per fish to unlock that and i just think that would be amazing anyway guys if you like this idea i'm gonna go in and try to type this up under game suggestions in the angler discord please do me a favor hit the like subscribe notify bell and um let me show you real quick before we get off from here where to find that in the angler discord and then you just click on upvote it let's get as much votes as we can out there on it and hopefully this will gain some traction we get something like this in the future it might be a year from now you know or whenever but i just think it's an awesome idea for the replay value and i really love this game and i want to see it take off 
and just dominate all the other fishing games out there. All right, let's look at it. All right, guys, we are in the official Angler Discord right here. You see feedback. I want to show you all how to get to this because a lot of people don't know Discord that well. I was one of those at one point. I still don't know it too good. But we're in the official Angler Call of the Wild, the Angler official Discord, okay? So this is where you go if you want to look at all these awesome resources, hook charts and help sheets and all this stuff. But if you go down to feedback, game suggestions. Now for me, I'm following it, so it's gonna be showing it for me here. I've already got one that ag that's agreed. Thank you, it's me, Hunter. I appreciate that, bud. Uh, but you may have to find it, but here's the title of it. End game rewards for certain achievements. So here's what you do. Click on that. So there is right there. So that's two upvotes for it. If we can get a lot on that right there, then the more chances this gets read, gets looked at, and gets considered, okay? Let's read it. In the local souvenir shop for each map, I would love to see a full outfit, skins for rods, reels, jeeps, boats, with the same theme. Golden mossy oak camo, for example. The most coveted rewards would be the gloves, reel, and rod because they are seen the most. Tie each cosmetic reward to an achievement that unlocks it. For example, catch a 10 pound largemouth bass or higher to unlock this item. We could do this by seasons, such as January 1 to March 31st. Each player would be striving to collect the whole set each season and the replay value of this game would be phenomenal. Imagine looking across the pond and seeing someone wearing the complete outfit or fishing in that special boat. That's just a little bling. So guys, that's how you do it. Find it under game suggestions, in-game rewards for certain achievements. Upvote that if you like it. You know, if you like that idea, please upvote it. Let's see if it gains some traction. And I appreciate you guys. My name is Darth Sloan again. Hit that like, subscribe, notify bell if you don't mind. And let's upvote this and see if we can get it to happen. You guys have an awesome, awesome day. And we will catch you in the next video. Thanks for listening.